Hello Libra and welcome to your October reading with me Elizabeth. I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general message for Libra Sun, Moon and Rising and as always never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Use your own highest intuition and guidance. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So happy birthday to all of the Libra Suns out there. I am wishing you a beautiful and magical solar return and a beautiful year ahead. So let's get into your reading Libra. All of the decks are listed below. And let's call in the divine with love and light and the archangels at the four corners of the world and the six elements of earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today. So messages for Libra for the month of October. Okay, Libra. So we have belonging, the house of night. Beautiful. I love this. This is so perfect. Um, you know, as we get into So Win, Day of the Dead, Halloween, All Hallows Eve, All Hallowtide, um, belonging, the house of night. So there is definitely something about your foundations and your structures around your relationships and things like that. Uh, this um, invitation for a greater sense of belonging inside of your own life, yourself, your community, your relationships. And we're getting strength with this gorgeous tree here. Um, that's really, really beautiful. So I'm seeing this as like a strengthening of bonds between you and other people, a strengthening of your foundations, um, and a strengthening of your own energy. Really, really powerful, uh, powerful energy that's with Libra right now. And at the bottom of the deck, we're seeing hope. So do not give up hope. Um, I feel like this month you're going to see a lot of things changing for the better. I feel like your energy is going to get stronger this month. Your connections to people are going to be strengthening. I'm seeing strengthening communities, strengthening bonds here with the House of Night. And it may be, you know, where some things are falling away. Um, we're seeing the leaves kind of changing color up there. They're very illuminated and highlighted. So this may be some things falling away so that other things in your life uh, become stronger or strengthened. So let's pull you some tarot and then we will get deeper into this. Okay, so for Libra, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, exactly. Change is in the air. We got Jupiter coming in for you. So there is a change coming for you, okay? And we get the sun, beautiful Libra, look at that. This is very, very positive change that's coming in for you this month. Energy is moving, blessings are coming. There's like, um, things are being really illuminated for you. Uh, it's where there's, there's a light that's being shown upon um, certain areas of your life. You're really, really being blessed. Uh, and then we're getting the Ten of Pumpkins. Look at that with the Ten of Pentacles. So those Ten Pentacles really do go along with that belonging and the House of Night because this is about community. This is about wealth. Um, for some of you, if you are looking at your money this month, oh my goodness, is it ever looking good? The Wheel of Fortune with the Sun and the Ten of Pumpkins. So I'm feeling like this month, have faith, have hope, keep moving forward um, because the energy of the universe is really, really, really supporting you, um, strengthening your fine, your finances, strengthening your relationships around community, all of that, even around love, just major, major blessings coming in for you. So we're seeing the page of bats. That's the page of swords there. Keep an open mind, Libra. Um, this is kind of like the beginner's mind. So I feel like with you, Libra, yes, you've completed a cycle. You've completed a rotation around the sun. Even if you're a Libra moon or rising, there's been a completion of a cycle with the Wheel of Fortune, the sun being in Libra. And this is the air element here, page of bats or page of swords. So I feel like going into this month with a very, very open mind, um, the beginner's mind, just open to new information, um, open to being sort of flexible, open to communication, open to talking, open to doing is really going to be like your winning combo here. Ten of ghosts, that's the ten of cups. So the ten of cups with the sun, um, th this is beautiful. This is the ultimate blessing of love that's coming in for you. We're seeing ten, ten, and ten. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is 10, 10 of Ghosts, 10 of Pumpkins, 10, 10, 10. So you are definitely at this place of like, 
completing some kind of a cycle this year, uh, this month, I said this year, this month, and it is bringing you blessings. Like it's really bringing you completion and blessings. And with the 10 of ghosts, we get the king of imps with the king of wands. This is beautiful. Um, I'm really feeling like Libra, whatever is happening in your life, and there may be all kinds of good things, and you're already feeling this big blessing, the wheel is turning in your favor, the energy is moving, the energy is shifting, you can see and feel the blessings on the horizon, um, and even if you're not quite there yet, I feel like with this King of Imps, because he is connected to Leo, and that's connected to strength, and we're seeing this tree with all of the strength here. This is a time for you uh, to be in your power and to have confidence, to have faith, to take inspired action as well. So if you're like looking at the, you know, the 10 pentacles and the 10 cups and thinking, well, that's great. Like, I really would like that, you know, to be my reality. Um, this is a month for you to not sit on your laurels. Um, is something that I'm seeing is to go with the energy because uh, it's it's so supportive for you. Uh, so it's a time for you to take action, especially with that belonging there, you know, about community, about family, about relationships, about business, work, spirituality, like all of it. This is a time for you to really, really take inspired action. So the page of bats here, he's going to like do the research. He's curious. He's going to ask the questions. And then the king of wands, he's going to take the inspired action with amazing amounts of confidence and leadership. So some of you I'm seeing where this is a month where you maybe have the opportunity to be in a leadership role. Um, if this is around, maybe this is a boss or a mentor or a teacher. I feel like this is really you stepping into like, um, like leveling up. There's something that you're going to be expanding because the wheel of fortune is all about expansion and growth. And uh, this is like luck is on your side. Um, the universe is really giving you, I think, maybe a boost of confidence. Um, and also, yeah, see, at the bottom of the deck, we see the seven of pumpkins with the world. So this is a huge cycle that you're completing, actually. And this is a time where maybe things were moving a bit slower. This is Saturn here. So things moving a bit slower, really having to have patience, really kind of reevaluating and reassessing your goals, your wishes, your dreams, your work even relationships. I feel there may even be things that you've decided to leave or walk away from. And now this is a time where you're going to be able to see a lot of blessings come in for you. And it's going to be through like having that open mind, keeping um, your options open, the page of bats, be open to learning something new. You may be finding out like regarding love that somebody has been sort of having an eye on you. I feel, I'm sensing like that there's eyes that are on you. There's people that are watching you that are waiting to make a move to come towards you to communicate or that energy could be reversed um with this page of bats and the king of imps it's interest it's an interesting combination here air and fire a page and a king so you're going to be receiving a lot of communication uh lucky communication like news that you've been waiting for coming in with that page of bats and there's just it's all blessings for you so let's pull you some fortune cards and then we will clarify the tarot i have another deck that we're going to use and then we'll get you some more oracle and see where we go with this all right so let's see what we have for you libra and i hope that you can't hear some of the noise in my neighborhood i really wanted to do these readings outside this month in in my garage um but then i'm also at the will of you know some of the people in my neighborhood who do yard work so all right so let's see what we have for you So we have the shield. You are safe from harm. Look at that. You're really protected here. Um, I'm feeling like on some level, this is something that you've built for yourself, especially with that world energy. Like you've learned a lot of really powerful lessons over the last year. Um, and this is where like you have your your energetic protection. Um, you're someone where you know when you're in a potential situation that could create 
havoc in your life or disrupt your energy. So I think that's like a big message that spirit really wants you to know that you're protected and that you're safe. Yes, uh, from this sort of devil energy. So you are safe from harm with the satyr, with revelry and indulgence. So there may be some energies around you that are trying to lure you in, um, some temptation, you know, whatever that is. And I feel like one of the uh, messages is to really stay strong here. You're going to know where you belong. You're going to know what situations are healthy for you. The sun is all about good health and vitality and energy and blessings. So it is sort of like a warning here that there may be, you know, and a little bit of indulgence is fine. Obviously, we have to have balance. And that's also Libra season and Libra energy is all about balance. So I'm feeling like there is, um, you know, that's kind of like some some type of just a, a message or a warning, like you may be tempted, you know, you and and it's about really staying strong. So I'm also seeing that some of you you may have left behind some toxic people or toxic situations, things that weren't good for you, things that weren't serving your highest good. And you are protected against this. And I feel like with the Seder here, you'll know what that energy is. You'll know like if it's a specific person or maybe an old habit, um, you know, that you've been working on, you've been working to overcome. This is the month where you can absolutely do that. And you're going to be protecting yourself from it. And just maybe it's just as simple as just saying no, you know, like, nope, that's not for me anymore. Um, really focusing on what's good for you, focusing on where your growth is. That's the wheel of fortune and the sun, like, and the 10 of pentacles. It's so interesting. So let's pull you some more tarot and get into this. Cause I feel like this month, um, there will be a lot of growth if you take um if you take the initiative if you have faith and confidence in yourself and what you're doing there's a lot of opportunity for growth for you in every area of your life all right so we did get a jumper here with the magician yes look at that so we'll take that as a bonus Okay, so we are getting the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. There's sort of an angel coming in for you with all of those butterflies. So um, Cancer Pisces with the lovers. Wow, Libra, look at that. So there's definitely, definitely love on the table here. Some of you, um, there's going to be some romance around you. This may be like a newer kind of relationship here. Someone is romancing you, um, you know, wanting to date you, wanting to really take you out and um, spend time with you. It's a very romantic energy. It's very much in the flow uh, with the lovers there. So about choices, healthy choices and union, three of pentacles, beautiful. So this is um, other people, soul agreements and the four of wands. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing like a soulmate connection for Libra. Um, it may be for some, for those of you that are single, I feel that there is an opportunity for um, romance uh, with maybe someone in your uh, work partnerships. This is someone that you may even know already. Um, and it's really beautiful. It's where there's really opportunity for you to come together to have a really loving, strong connection that could even lead to something uh, like marriage or a long term commitment. So um, this may be this month where you really know who this person is. Um, you know, they come in and it's very, very romantic. It's very sweet. Uh, it's a very innocent energy. It really just wants to love. It wants to be in flow. It wants to spend time. It wants to invest the time. This person may be like a bit of a dreamer. Um, you know, they really come in with that very uh, kind of like... I don't know, like very romantic energy. And uh, this is someone who it's very blessed around around this connection. Ten of pumpkins, this is leading to like long-term relationship. Ten of ghosts is leading to the happily ever after is what I'm seeing here. And this is someone that may have had their eye on you for a while or you've been, you know, very maybe just small communication with that page of wands. Like, you know, maybe it's just been little messages here and there. But I feel like this is the month where um, there's union for many Libras, um, four of wands with the lovers. There is a nod to like somebody else back there. 
And even here with the Three of Pentacles, it's almost like maybe there was, it was taking a long time because there was somebody else in the situation. And I'm feeling like that um, you're going to receive a message. For those of you that this is res resonating, you're going to receive a message this month that um, that third party energy is over. So maybe some of you have been waiting for someone, you know, kind of like wondering, okay, is this a possibility? And yes, I think that this is the month. It's There's a lot of passion here and a lot of desire. I feel that the two of you are really like uh, drawn to each other. It's like your soul magnets to one another with the lovers there. And I feel like if there was an energy of somebody else, um, that person is now gone. And we did get the magician that came out separately. So this, again, it goes back to that kind of like having confidence in yourself. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication for the Libra gang this month. You're making moves. Um, this is where you're really taking inspired action, working with what you have, being very smart about what you're doing. So I'm sensing it's also where like, um, part of your strength is coming from not wasting time or energy on things that just feel like maybe not right for you or feel like there's no growth. So you're going to be called to take inspired action um, and to do the things that are feeling like there's opportunity for growth in a real way. Like you, you, you give out and then you get back. Like you see the result kind of right away, especially with the wheel of fortune there. It's like you're, you see the results right away. So, um, so that's where I think that you're leveling up is that you're kind of like, you've gotten wise, you know, to these things, like you put in the energy and the time and effort, and it's not about waiting around to see if it's going to grow anymore. It's about like almost seeing immediate results that's that's what they're telling me. It's a month where you will see immediate results. It's like you know where you will belong and you know what belongs to you and you know what doesn't. And that's your shield. That's your strength. That's your shield of protection. Um, and so to some degree, maybe you have just been really focused on inner work, healing, whatever. And the Seder is also coming in as a reminder to allow yourself to indulge in some of the pleasures, you know, of the season and all of that. Um, so it's going to resonate a bit differently for each of you. And at the bottom of the deck here, we're seeing um, the Knight of Wands, and this is very passion driven. So um, with the Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, and the Six of Wands with Leo. So this is a very passion filled, passion driven month. This is a month of fire. This is a month of passion. This is a month of creativity. It's a month of good luck. And underneath all of that was the seven of pentacles where I feel like, you know, maybe there was uh, some stuff that you were just like getting really impatient around um, things that weren't growing. And this month it's all changing there with that wheel of fortune and the sun. So congratulations, my beautiful Libras. I'm so happy for you. All right. So let's get you some messages from Le Vampire and see what we have for you. If you're in an existing relationship, I see things going really, really well for you. Um, I feel like there's more romance. There's more sensuality this month. There's more pleasure. The relationship is really blooming. Yes, the transmission. Okay, so interesting that you got this card, Libra. So this talks about, like, here's the twins, right? And even with the lovers, it's a nod to Gemini and the twins. And this is where it's like, there is just this energy with you and another person. Um, this could even just be speaking to your community as a whole or your work um, or your spiritual path or your family. It's where there is such a pull. It's where, um, you know, this is where someone can have great influence over us. Their energy is very... Um, like we're super, super drawn to one another. It's a relationship that has such a strong impact on us. It's something that just feels like home. 
it feels like uh, we've known each other forever. You know that we've uh, been together through different lifetimes. So one of the messages with regards to this is to really be mindful of where you're spending your time, with whom you're spending your time, all of that because we influence one another. So, you know, it's sort of like the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. So it is about choosing wisely. Um, choose wisely this month. Okay, even with the lovers here, that is like a card of choice and it can go back to like healthy choices and what's right for us. Um, but this is also coming out with primal. So connecting deep within sacred dance and instinct. And I feel like we saw all the fire at the bottom of the other deck here. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Six of Wands. So this is, I think, a month where you have this kind of primal force about you, this primal energy, like the King of Wands, where you're magnetic, you're very attractive this month. Um, it's kind of like other people are really feeling you on this level where maybe they can't even explain it. Um, so even around your creative projects or your work, I feel that you have great influence. I feel that you have the opportunity to really influence your own life, your own conditions. That's the magician, like really being the magician of your own life, the creator of your own life, because the wheel is there for you. So the universe is supporting this. The wheel is turning in your favor and the sun is illuminating all of this. So just kind of knowing that, you know, it's also how you use your power. So it's using it for good, right? It's using it to positively impact the world, to positively influence other people and also impact your own life. So this is where you are connecting to something very, very deep here. Um, it's some kind of primal urges, primal instincts. So I'm feeling one of the messages is to really, really trust where you're being led, trust your instincts this month, trust your intuition in a big, big way, trust where you're being led. If um, something feels off, you're gonna know. And so to trust that, um, you know, we did see the four of wands, which is about unions and celebration. Um, but it's also like you can see here where like it's a really powerful energy and it's where we're laying the foundations of our life. So I think that that's something that you're also doing is you're really working on your foundations with the three of pentacles. It's like how you leverage into the ten of pentacles. So you are like working on your, your networking, your connections. These are like the building blocks for your wealth, the building blocks for your life like all of that. So it's really taking action, taking inspired action around all of these things. You are the magician there and you definitely, definitely have luck on your side. Um, it's a month for you, I think, to be seen, to allow yourself to get out there and be seen. Six of wands, king of wands, you know, don't be afraid to shine. Um, with the sun coming back around into Libra, it's like there's a spotlight on Libra. So allow yourself to to be seen. There's a spotlight on you. Um, and you know, if any of you have had, I'm wondering if any Libras have had taken where maybe in some area of your life, your confidence has taken a hit. Um, and maybe you felt like you don't belong or where do you belong? Maybe you feel like you don't have the strength. Uh, this is where it's all changing. Like it's such a clear message from spirit. You do belong. This is your community. This is where your strength is. Um, really trust your instincts and trust the power that you have because I see you very powerful this month. Um, and I also see that there's some really important, beautiful relationships that are around you, both in business and family even, and romance. So you know, that Knight of Cups, it, it's like almost like an angel coming into your life, Libra. Like there's some angel that's coming into your life um, this month. And they're going to have uh, a lot of really lovely things to say to you. And also uh, where you can kind of just uh, get more into the watery kind of energy where it's like you're just feeling happy and want to spend beautiful quality time together and yes it may absolutely be passionate and romantic and for others of you you know it's um it's more around friendships and networks and things like that and I think people are really going to be looking to you as well so that sense of belonging and strength and confidence really uh just a 
like a big moment for you. So, all right, Libra, I think we will end with a couple of cards from the Coffee Cup Oracle. This is by Amira Ceylon, and she's amazing. So I figured let's get some Oracle cards, uh, some fortune cards to end your reading. Okay, yes, we have the whale and the wisdom keeper. And this goes along with that Knight of Cups, that watery energy, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, that there's just this beautiful depth that wants to be revealed this month. It's like very connected into the heart, connected into the emotions. Um, it's a beautiful energy of like really knowing, again, knowing where you belong, knowing, you know, where your your time and your energy is best spent. Um, there's just such a beautiful depth and wisdom here. And I feel like it's around that that Knight of Cups, like this person is very, very wise, whoever this is, they're very wise. They're offering you, I don't know, they, they have a lot to tell you. That's what I keep hearing. They have a lot to tell you. They have a lot of wisdom to share with you. They are a wisdom keeper um, and they're coming into, I don't know, it's, it's a healing energy. I think it's, it's some kind of a healing energy. Yes, Libra, look at that. You're getting this lucky scarab, nourishment and transformation. So this really is a rebirth for you. It's almost like the energy of the phoenix that's rising from the ashes there with all that fire connected to ancient Egypt and luck and good fortune. And this is with that sun, with the nourishment of the sun and the blessing of the scarab beetle and the wheel of fortune. Like this is a magical, magical month for you, Libra. So really take advantage of it and, and just know that there are good things that your universe is bringing to you. And it's so well-deserved because we saw that, um, we saw the world card at the bottom of the other deck. So you have completed a big cycle. And I feel like, yes, um, it, it was slow coming, but now it's moving and you're getting more energy of protection here. So you are safe from harm. The turtle with slowness and protection and it's beautiful. So you don't have to like rush towards any of this. Like it's not gonna just like go away. Um, we're seeing long-term stuff here. 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, you know, so this is long-term stuff. So it's also a month where I feel that you can allow yourself to be in flow. You know, there's a wisdom that comes with the turtle. So you're getting like two creatures of the sea here. You know, the turtle is also um, goes on land as well. So adaptability and flexibility and just kind of like taking your time, going with the flow, take your inspired action. And I think you're really seeing the energy pick up. And this is just so, so lucky for you. Uh, so beautiful. And yeah, see at the bottom of the deck was the snake. And this is where, you know, here it's desire and attraction. That is transformation, shedding of old skin, releasing what doesn't serve. This can even speak to this sort of like this devil energy. And I feel like this is what you're really coming out of. This is what's leaving your life. So all of these positive things are coming in for you. So my beautiful Libras, those were your messages. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Take really, really good care. Hit the like button. Please subscribe if you found this useful. Please feel free to share. I love you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Have a wonderful, wonderful month ahead and I will talk to you all soon. Namaste.